everyone how are you guys welcome back to the video as you can tell by the title this is going to be a haul i recently made a purchase on ulta.com and i wanted to show this to you guys and also i've been super busy with my new job and all of that and i'm still trying to get used to my schedule and the flow and you know figure out a time when i can sit down and film because my videos are pretty much for the most part in real time so if you guys are curious it's 8 a.m and i'm filming this before i have to go to work because it's literally the only time i can film when there's actual daylight um but yeah so as you can see i made an ulta order and i'm excited to show this to you guys now what's really cool about this order is that i paid only like two dollars and like 75 cents for everything in this box so if you're not familiar ulta has these rewards and their reward system is pretty much my Money off of your purchases so it's a free reward system this is not sponsored it's just I got the stuff pretty much faux free okay so um, everything is still packaged in here I took a few things out to use and I'll tell you guys what I think about them as we go but actually crap I need to go grab one more thing I'll be right back. all right you guys I'm back I um, grabbed the item that I used this morning and I also turned off my dryer because i just realized my dryer was going if i seem a little off it's because i am i never film this early in the morning but this just might have to be my norm moving forward so anyway let's just jump into it this intro has been way too long please subscribe to this channel um like this video comment down below if you have any questions um and follow me on instagram okay let's just jump right into it so this is an order of just things that i need to replenish on now if you watch my previous video on me decluttering that huge box of makeup um there's a lot of great items in there that I will be using, but, but the stuff I'm going to show you today from Ulta is pretty much stuff that wasn't in that box of new makeup that I needed. So, for example, primer. I was running low of my Cover FX blurring primer, and I just didn't really want to pay the, what, 40 some dollars, 30 some, 37 dollars, or something like that for the Cover FX one. So, I decided to try the Makeup Revolution Pore Blur um and prime primer so it looks like this it's a smaller bottle whoa but i think it was only like 7.99 and i used it today and i really liked how it felt it wasn't as thick as the cover fx one but i like how it was still blurring and smoothing so i'm gonna wear it throughout the day and i'll give you guys an update on what i think about this primer but it was such a good deal and it was worth a shot this is the igk thirsty girl coconut milk leave-in conditioner now i've been really trying to get more into hair products because my hair is getting really long I need a haircut you guys have probably noticed I need a haircut so bad but um, I thought this would be great as a leave-in conditioner I haven't used a leave-in conditioner in a while and um, this is a different one it comes in an aerosol can and it's more of a mist so it's not that like heavy creamy leave-in conditioner that I'm used to but I've used it a few times already and I actually really like it now for me personally I only wash my hair like once or twice a week so I only use this once or twice a week but but so far so good I feel like it does really smooth my hair um, not too much shine but it definitely controls a lot of the frizz that um, I have typically so I do like this I love IGK I love their products so yeah that was a really good purchase um, the next thing I picked up is another Too Faced Born This Way super coverage multi-use uh, sculpting concealer <laughs> that is the longest name in the world but I love this stuff so now honestly i know i've mentioned this before that i use this concealer and i actually use it as a foundation technically i don't use a foundation i just put this under my eyes and i spread it really thin the color i picked up is golden beige and i have this color already and i figured that it would be a good color for me moving into the winter because i do have a darker one as well that i use in the summer but i picked up another one of the lighter ones so golden beige is what i picked up and again i love this concealer i think it's great if you don't want to wear foundation you can just do a little bit of that like spot conceal and spread it thin it gives great coverage and it wears really well so speaking of concealers i also picked up another one of the l'oreal infallible full wear concealers now i pretty sure i mentioned this before i i can't remember but i have two other shades in this and i decided to get a darker shade because 
all the ones that I have are extremely light and I think I use them more for highlighting than concealing but I think this is really comparable to the Tarte Shape Tape and I've used Shape Tape for years. I have about five or six shades of Shape Tape and um, this is a true dupe in my opinion. So if you want something affordable, um, definitely find it on buy one get one half off or something like that but the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear, such a good concealer and um, I'll probably pick up more of these in the future. Well. I see myself picking up more. We'll see what happens. Okay, um, let's see. We have a little card. I don't know why they threw this card in. I did not buy anything from this brand. But anyway, I also got another one of my deodorants. This is the La Vanilla um, Sport Luxe healthy deodorant and it's my favorite deodorant i love the scent of it i am very much more of that fresh clean scent and the la vanilla original is just a little bit too i don't even know this it's just very vanilla-y i guess you could say um and for me when it comes to my underarms i really like that more fresh scent so the sport Lux gives you more of that freshness which i love this deodorant it's so good and it's healthy for you and yeah all right, another body product, which you guys have seen me haul this so many times in past videos. I know last winter I hauled a bunch of these. Um, this is the Body Shop Body Butters. I love these for the winter time. You guys, if you have dry skin, I don't typically have super dry skin. I just really like to keep my body moisturized because I like soft Skin. who doesn't like soft skin right um, but the body shop body butters are amazing to like lather on at night during the winter times I put it on this morning all over my body um, but yeah it just really helps your skin stay nice and hydrated I personally love the British rose scent which is uh, has the pink rose on the top they have so many different options when it comes to scents they have a lot of fruity options as well again I prefer the more clean floral type of um, body scents. I just personally know that my body chemistry works really well with more fresh, clean, and floral scents. So I've probably purchased this maybe like six times over. It's so good. And yeah, if you have dry skin, check that out. It's like, I think it's like $21, but you can find them on sale sometimes. So it's totally worth it and it lasts forever. All right, the next thing I picked up, oh, this is so cute. So I picked up this Benefit kit and the reason i picked this up was because it included a full size of my favorite bronzer and a full size of one of my favorite mascaras so it's in this little tin of a little bus is this a bus yeah something like that oh so cute all right so that's what it looks like right there you can see that it has a full size benefit hula bronzer a full size um roller lash mascara which it's roller lash is one of my favorites you guys so this is a really good one for more of that lift and the curl and then you get a mini size of the gimme brow in shade three which for me shade three works just fine I'll i'm so excited to have this i'm running low on my bronzer i have hit pan on hula bronzer probably like 15 times you guys in my lifetime and that's just a lot it takes a long time to finish a bronzer and like hula bronzer is one of my go-to's okay a few more things i have a dior sample which you guys don't need to see that and then oh my gosh i totally forgot i picked this up oh man i should have used this today so apparently i picked up the anastasia foundation and this has been getting really great reviews some of my friends have recommended it to me personally so i was like you know what let's check it out and i just guessed on my shade you guys i picked up 330w and this is their luminous foundation i'm so excited to try this because in the winter time i do like to stay pretty matte but there's just moments where i don't want to look so powdery and flat so i think this luminous foundation will come in handy looking at the color i think i did okay can you guys see that uh it might be a little smidge too dark i'm gonna try it out and if i need to exchange it i will because ulta is really great with that you can exchange and return anything you need to um if the color is not right so um yeah it's by anastasia and yeah we'll see how it is if you guys have tried this before please let me know in the comments i would love to know your thoughts before i try it so let me know down below if you've ever um tried this yourself uh okay i have my invoice and then this little baggie here has a couple products. I'm sorry, I didn't like 
unravel any of this because I've just, I've been so busy, which an update on my job will be coming soon, you guys. So just stay tuned. All right, so I picked up a Ulta Beauty gel eyeliner, and this is gonna be more for the waterline. I've heard great things about the Ulta eyeliners, and my mom loves these, so I figured I would try it out, and my eyeliner that I have right now for my waterline is so dried out. It's the Marc Jacobs one, and for some reason, it just completely dried out. So we're gonna do a gel one. I got the Ulta one in black. I got another one of my Stila Stay All Day waterproof liquid eyeliners. Um, this is in an intense black. You guys know it's my, one of my favorite liquid liners, but I did have a coworker of mine I have coworkers, you guys, um, recommend the Wet n Wild one. So if you guys have tried the Wet n Wild eyeliner, the liquid liner, let me know because I tried it years ago and I didn't like it, but I feel like I need to try it again. I feel like it's worth another shot, right? So anyway, the Stila one is like 22 bucks or 23 bucks, so got that. And then this is, oh, the Micro Brow Pencil. This is by Morphe, and um, yeah, I think I ordered this order before I went through the um, huge box of makeup because I know I found a few brow pencils in there. So whatever, it's not a big deal. I'm definitely gonna use this brow pencil sometime, so I'll have that on hand. And then the last thing I picked up, which I'm super excited about, is the Too Faced Melted Matte Limited Edition Gingerbread um, Girl Liquid Lipstick. I have been wanting this for some time now, and I've just always pushed it off. I never wanted to treat myself to it. So finally, I was like, you know what? I am going to do it. Look at that color. Look how pretty that is. Should I put it on right now? <gasps> I should put it on right now to show you guys. I'm just wearing a uh, big, cozy, white sweatshirt, so I think this will match pretty well. And yeah, I'm so excited. All right, let's put it on right now. Let me go get a mirror. All right, you guys, I'm back. I have a mirror here. And first off, I just want to show you guys. Can you see the little gingerbread girl? on the cap of this like the packaging is so adorable it's super cute and i don't have a lipstick this color so i figured this is the perfect time to grab it and i feel like fall is almost over so i need to wear this because christmas is around the corner okay let's see i already have a lip liner on all i have is lip liner and chapstick on so we're gonna put this oh my god Oh my gosh, this smells so good. It smells like gingerbread. Oh my gosh. Mm. Ooh, look at that. Whoa. I kind of like it. I don't know. What do you guys think? It's a little bit more orange than I was expecting. It looks more orange in the camera for sure, but in person it looks a lot deeper. But oh my gosh, and keep in mind, you guys. I did not double dip. This is one application. I did not put the um, applicator back in and out. One application, smooth finish, very comfortable. Oh my goodness. I think this is a really awesome color. I'm super excited to wear this to work today. But yeah, that's pretty much everything in my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Please thumbs up this video. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you know exactly when my videos are posted. And follow me on Instagram to keep up with my everyday life. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!